You know what actually improves the quality of your life? It is you being there. <laughs> being there fully. Meaning you bringing all of your awareness and presence into your life. So whatever is happening, you are there. And it's not about what is happening. It's never about that. It is how you feel inside. What's your inner state and inner environment? If you are stressed, no matter how wonderful thing you do, it's not going to give you satisfaction. And if you are happy and peaceful inside, no matter what terrible situation happens, it doesn't disturb your peace. So, quality of life starts with you actually being a conscious presence, conscious player, conscious witness. You are not a human, you are consciousness, spirit, that infuses with its awareness every human experience. And that's what this life is about. To experience all kinds of different variations of situations and keep bringing the full of your awareness and presence. Meaning, stay inside. Don't leave your home. Don't leave your heart. Be conscious, be aware. Be aware of your awareness. Be present presence you are presence you cannot not be it so that's your main task and work outside will keep manifesting and you be aware of bringing all of your awareness into every shadow every corner of your experiencing and that's what brings the God consciousness into this world. You are the window through which this light of the sun is shining. So your job is not to close the curtains and let it through, let it pass through this window which is your body-mind. So the light can pierce and enter this plane, magnificent, beautiful plane of reality. Life is beautiful when you are there, when you're fully there. And nature, nature is an exquisite manifestation of this perfection. Every moment is perfect. If you don't start judging it as something undesirable. By whom undesirable? By the mind that tries to avoid the shadow, its own shadow. But there cannot be shadow if you don't imagine yourself to be a form. There is only light and don't create any imaginary curtains on the way that create shadows yeah just let the light through be aware always conscious so if now period is a bit turbulent for you sit with it sit with it don't scroll to another youtube video go and pierce with the light of your consciousness these feelings this heaviness, these thoughts, and invite all of it in, into this God consciousness, God presence, the light of your being within you. So it transforms everything into itself. Everything becomes light and all of those feelings and heavy emotions or I don't want to do this, 
dissolve. Resistance itself, resistance to what is, is the manifestation of so-called evil. Yeah, Jesus said, An eye for an eye, for an eye a tooth for the tooth, but I tell you, do not resist the evil, for there is no evil, there is no shadow. The shadow is only created when you resist. When you resist, you create any imaginary form that is there, that in reality is not there. Everything is you, everything is this light. So, the so-called shadow work is to bring you, which is the light of God, into every corner of unconscious experience, of collective unconsciousness, of thought forms, of feelings that were mm, manifested from manifest from misunderstanding of our true nature or forgetfulness. Yet there is never any mistake. And if something is presented to you, you can handle it. There is never not enough of light. There is never not enough of consciousness. For everything is consciousness. So, whatever you need, whatever situation you have, you can create a solution by accessing the consciousness and remembering that you are consciousness, first of all. And maybe situation will solve itself or solution will be manifest through your consciousness for you, for the next step in your journey, in your evolution. Hmm. See, just like the birds traveling somewhere. Now they're traveling to the light. <laughs> the seeker is the same. And yet he is the light. So there is no journey. Hmm. So the life quality is only determined by the quality of your presence. The presence of your essence in every experience. For for when it is beautiful on the outside you will, you cannot see it when there is beautiful woman in front of you you are all busy with your mind thinking about the future or your work you can't truly really appreciate her or just like yesterday i was at the lake this wild place no one just complete stillness and yet there were some fishermen <laughs> drinking very hard and they couldn't see this beauty of silence or hear the bird singing for they were so loud and busy either with their phone or conversation or drink so recognize the beauty by being the beauty hmm.